Hello, good evening and welcome. Here we are back again. It's Sunday night, Stamping with Sandra, Sandra Stamcraft Studio. Welcome, welcome everybody. Um, I have got a little treat in store for you today. Um, a new product, new to me, from the mini catalogue. Um, I'm just going to get the catalogue in front of me for you. Um, it's um, a really, really delightful set. Um, I usually have a rule with myself whereby if I've had Hi Maxine, if I've had a product, um, I won't have something similar next when it next comes out. So for instance, if I've had, um, say, baubles last year for Christmas, um, or sn snowflakes was a classic example. Hi ladies. Um, yes, snowflakes was a classic example. When Jackie and I did a, um, an online retreat using the snowflakes um, uh, a few years, well, in COVID, um, we vowed that's it we never want to see a snowflake again <laughs> so um i have that rule of thumb now i did have something similar to this set um before um but i was itching to get it i didn't get it in the first order but it arrived um at the end of last week so i'm really excited with this one um you've probably seen some other demos already got it on day one um but i'm really excited with this oh hello everybody lots of you coming in tonight exciting new products this is going to be a class okay for so for my local bods it's going to be a class and it's going to be a class i've got two dates kind of october's getting towards christmas and getting christmas things um sorted um, when we get into november i'm going to do it on sunday the 5th of november and thursday the 16th and there will probably be other dates as well okay so there are dates for your diary watch out on those coming up but i just tonight i just want you to pop um details in there if you're interested okay um i'm gonna be soon launching something else for next year and i want expressions of interest for that as well helps me to gauge um numbers and interest etc and work out um a plan for um delivery and how frequent okay so i'm gonna get you down onto the table now oh and me in the corner maybe put that one oh that one that one and that one and there i am Okay, so let's crack on. This is the Abundance Beauty Decorative Masks. These are gorgeous products. I had sunflowers last time, um, the stamps and the dyes, and I love those. Um, and that was when we had our Ukraine guests here as well. And I did do an awful lot with that. Um, but these are not just sunflowers. I can see these as so much else. So they're really good value in here in the UK. They're ten pounds um, for a set of seven masks. So you've got the four that I'm going to use tonight, and then you've got three extra ones. But I'm going to run through those in a sec. Um, and then <laughs> what I didn't bring to the table was my daubers and my blending brushes. I have some here. We will we will get by. I am sure. So let me see what I've got to have. I've got some over there and some here. But I'm going to have a decision for you first. I have two colour combinations that I kind of came up with and I'd like to know whether you would like the yellows and thinking more towards the um, sunflowers but like I say this is this can be so much more than sunflowers or would you like to see um, the pinks the corals and the one of these two I don't know which one yet um, those ones along the bottom probably copper clay because it's got the pinkier tones to it I only want to use three colours, so I just want the card colours out. Yeah. See, those ones are a bit more brownie. So I'm going to put that one out of the equation. Just let me know in the comments as to which combination you would like, whether you're going for the, the yellows or the um, oranges. Okay, so just pop some comments in there. Pink, pinky oranges, pink calypso. Okay, in the meantime, I'm just going to grab the rest of my blending brushes and daubers. Thought I was so good getting everything ready. Those somewhere. Okay, now for the count up. Oh, pinks, 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 pinks and corals, corals. Oh, in that case, that's unanimous for those ones. I'm so pleased. These were the ones I came up with first, and then I, I warmed. I warmed to these ones um, because I thought that that was new colour at the back there, the copper clay. So that discards that bundle of inks. 
now I know what colours I'm going to use. Would you like this with white or would you like it with vanilla? Okay, that's the other thing for later. Um, that's definitely, that's on that lot. This one, this one. And we've got in that sort of colouring. You might be struggling on that one. I need some more blends. Never have enough blending brushes. Okay, we've got two there. Well, look, this is good because I'll be able to show you two different ways here. So we use two different mediums onto one card. Okay, I'll be pleased with that. We might have to do some new ones here. Calypso Purple Fire, there we go. That one's gone. No, okay, so we'll have a couple of new ones. That's fine. Okay, so this is what colours we're going to go with. More comments down here. Corals, corals. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. Oh, you see, you lot are so good tonight. You are really together, aren't you? And you're from different corners of the um, the globe, I think, aren't you? So my base card, um, I'm going to get cream and vanilla out just for the time being, but I need to work on a sheet here. We'll leave all of those to one side because I don't know how we're going to mount this yet. So let's... Oh, guillotine might help. I've got a clear desk, guys. You wouldn't believe it. I've been open for Norfolk Open Studios, I told you, on Wednesday. And everything's been cleared off. And we've been doing mixed media today. So I'm going to cut this down. For the time being, um, I'm going to just... I'm going to do this as a six inch square. There's a reason for my madness. We will cut it down, but I want to work on this size first. Okay. Pop that on the chair beside me that way. No, maybe not. I'll put it on Smudger's chair. And that's the score I just jumped out. So here are my masks. Let me show you through these first. So this comes as a set of seven. I had these out today with um, one of the customers. I nearly got to use them, but didn't. Um, so the Abundance Beauty decorative masks. I don't need that piece. So what you've got here is four different layers. So they all have a little nick at the top here. If I just I'll bring it on camera. So you've got a nick at the top there and it's numbered number one. So this tells you that that's the first one you're going to use. Then you've got, you can see we've shuffled them, can't you? The leaves was number two, I think, yes. They're very faint on here, um, but we've got number two, which is the leaves. So that's gonna be the second one we do. And then number three is the middles of the flowers, okay? And then number four, with the V at the top there is number four, is the detail on the inside, okay? Um, I'm so, so excited, I really am excited. So this is the hound's tooth. Can't really see it very well on here. If I kind of hop, hold up in the air, you can see at the top of the screen there, you've got the hound's tooth, which is my least favorite, but I will find something to do with it. We have snowflakes. Again, I'm looking forward. I have a great project with this one to come up with. Um, I just need to have the time to do it. And then this one is the leaves. Now, part of me wants to do some of these leaves in the background, but just for time-wise tonight, this, these are quite kind of autumny leaves and some oak, some acorns in there as well. Made big, nice red uh, maple leaf in there, look. And then some just little branchy bits. So you can move this about and then do them where you want them to be. So I'm really looking forward to that one as well. Really exciting little kit. Um, a really fab for a class group. Um, so that's why my dates have gone in. Now I am going to lean on this, but I'm going to bring on a grid mat that I have laminated. Now you shouldn't see any glare from here because I did this with a, a, a mat embossing um, uh, laminating pouch. So what I'm going to do is attach this down to the cardstock. Now I just want to do the corn. In fact, I don't need that as a cushion. Let's get rid of that because that might might keep moving. So I just want to anchor down the corners on here for now. The card itself will not move. Okay, I don't want that to move at all. We will move the, the masks. So if I just put four little pieces in the corner, nice and flat. And I'm using my scotch tape. Okay, so we have mask number one. Now this is the same size, that's why I cut it for the six inches. Okay, but when you get a card front size, let me just see if I've got one in. The yes, I have. Look at that. 
You know my method, I keep those at the back. We have a, a card front size. We are going to miss, one. by the time we get leaves on here, we are gonna miss some of this. So you could cut that down to be a full size, or you could squidge it down just a little bit more and mess about with the sizes. But I've got some different size cards and different things lined up for that. So let's start with this one. We're gonna hinge this down because we need to hinge it somewhere. Now you can hinge it to the side or hinge it to the top, wherever you're comfortable hinging. I'm gonna hinge mine to the left with a nice big piece of this um, tape. Okay, just want that lined up on the edge. I'll catch up with the comments in a minute. Okay, so that should be in the corner of that six inch piece there. That's going to stay down there for me, sponging um, or daubing or whatever over this piece. If you've got your pencil, what you can do is just mark the V in the top there so you know that that is where you are. Okay, and each one you will line up on that V. v. I'm going to get you down a little bit closer. Sorry, girls. Come right in. Oh, that's better for the light as well, isn't it? Except you're pushing it right over there. Okay, that's fine. We're good to go. Hi, Sam. Oh, Sandra, sorry, can't read. Um, good, right, we're all ready to go. So I've got a mixture. Um, I'm going to use the three colours I've pulled out. So I'm going to have Petal Pink, um, the Calypso Coral, and I'm going to do um, the Pecan. You're going to see how beautifully this can shade. You won't need the detailed accent. You won't need more than one color, more than those colors because it's just gonna, it, it will take care of itself, honestly. Hi, Angela, round the corner. Nice of you to pop on. So um, I've got all that sorted. So let's get this on the road. Now I have got my daubers here. So daubers are the cheapest option. Pool party, I don't want pool party. There we go, three brand new ones. Okay, so the, the daubers are the cheapest option and I've got the blending brushes as well, but I've only got one in the orangey um, colors that we can use tonight. So I will use this for the flowers, um, but I'm gonna use different ones for the shading here. So I'm gonna use petal, pot, uh, petal pink and I have a piece of scrap paper out of the caddy. I just need to have something to tap off the ink, the excess ink, so I don't go in really, really hard with it. So this is just a piece of copy paper. I will just have off camera there, just, just to the side of me. So, Petal Pink, this is going, we're gonna get these inked up because these aren't newly, um, new, new daubers. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go over this with quite a light pressure over all of these flowers, okay? But I'm gonna pay, um, more attention coming into the center. Um, I'm gonna go over light first and then the next mask, um, the next time round, I'm gonna go over with the darker, okay? Now the brushes work equally as well. In fact, it's just personal choice as to which you do. I am gonna be ordering some more blending brushes on my next order, because it's highlighted the fact that I haven't got enough brushes for the colors I want. Hey, we always want more than we can have, don't we? Hey, if I was to win the lottery, that might be a different color fish. Okay, can you see the colour coming through on that? It's quite pale, um, but it's just enough just to blend these in, okay? And I'm going in circular motions, but I'm also going both directions. So I'm going anti-clockwise, because to me, right-handed, that's the natural thing to do, okay? And then I'll go back the other way, okay? So I didn't do that one, I the other way, did I? There we go, just to bring some of that colour through. So just strengthen that just a little bit. You have the daubers and love them, absolutely, Angela. This is a pale color, so I'm not daubing it off first, dabbing it off first. Um, these are nice that these are clear. These are like a white, opaque sort of finish to them. We've had masks in the past that are gray, they're very dark. So when you're trying to line it up with things underneath, um, you can't see what else is on the image because the mask here, instead of being this lovely clear sort of opaque color, it does tend to um, just, it masks it off a little bit so you can't see it. So this is my layer at the bottom. So this is going to be the petal part, a uh, petal pink. The fading on here, this is fading on the plastics because I can't, the plastics doesn't, don't hold their color as well. But that is my petal pink. 
simple. That's one side. My next layer, I am going to use this for because it's it's the orangey pinky tones. So this is Calypso Coral. So I have that in front of me. And I'll have the paper here just to dab off on. So you've seen me before with the, the dabbing off. We don't want to have this too harsh. So if we put that on the paper now, we would get a def definitive line like that. We don't want that to happen. So I take off the excess, just roll it round so there's no harsh outside bit. We're only going to do the centres of these flowers. Okay, so we're just going to come in this middle bit. This middle piece here is the mask. So you're not getting anything of that. You just want to go around the outer side of it just to enhance that a little bit. So again, I'm going both directions. If I had the daubers, the daubers would my be, be my pre the uh, stamp and blends. They would be my color, my method really of choice. This I'm going to try and keep it just into the center, just round that center piece. But I want to get it even. You can see this side's quite dark. I want to get it round the other edge as well. So I'll go round that center piece again in both directions. Then we're going to take a little peek at it. So we've actually got a small, medium, and large here. So these could be dahlias. Um, like I say, I've got so many things I've got in my head I want to do with them. My naturally, because of where the ink is, it's naturally come that the darker side is this side. Okay, so I'm just going to strengthen that one a little bit more. And I'm going to peel it off and see where we're going with it. Now, are you ready for the big reveal? Okay, if I lift up the edge of this. Okay, can you wait? And those are the flowers. Look how beautiful they are. Okay, if anything, I need a little bit more of the lighter one around the outside here. So I can go back and just put that little bit on, just to define the edges, really, that they do tend to bleed into the... Um, just bleed into the vanilla paper. Okay, so again, we can just pick that up. The re that's the reason I've hinged it. So we've got the nick at the top to line the other ones up on, but it's just come through a little bit stronger on the edge there. Okay, really love the softness. So we have the daubers and we have the uh, blending brushes. I would use the small ones for this because of its intricate work. So that is all my Calypso Coral finish. Okay, now we're going to go on to the centres. So I'm going to peel this one off. I'm going to take off this piece of tape. I can reuse that. So these, um, because all of our inks are water-based, these will go in the washer. So you, you can just put these in the sink and just wash them under a tap and they will just wash off nicely. Uh, we've been using mixed media today and so we have pastes and things like that. They are masks. The pastes will dry like cement. So you don't want to leave those on there. Those would be quite happy if, even if I left them overnight and washed them in the morning. I won't, but they would be good enough that length. So now we're going to take number two. Um... Number two is the leaves. So I'm going to put the nick in the top there, the little V. Okay, and then I'm going to paste this down. Tape this down, sorry, not paste it. Okay, so that's lined up properly. These are away from their images. If we wanted to, um, just for simplicity, I'm just using as is, as they were designed. Nick at the top, hinge it along somewhere. If you're right, left-handed, then do it that way. Um, but we will do these as they are. Okay. Now, I'm not going to use, I'm using the pecan pie. It's one of the new colours, okay, when the colours change, the core colours. So I am going to be using this for the leaves, and I'm going to be doing two-tone with it. So I'm going to be wanting to take some of this off the... I'm just going to lift the camera up slightly to get this piece of paper underneath so it don't keep moving. There we go. So I'm going to... This is New Dauber, and it's quite a dark ink. There it is, look. Just there. So I'm going to be taking some of this darkness off here. I only want it to be quite pale, okay? And I'm going to be coming over here, just very lightly. It's still probably a little bit dark, but I can make it darker for the other ones. So as the leaves go round, we will get some detail coming through on those. Okay. By going circular, clockwise and anti-clockwise, you're going to build up that colour nicely. So there is my lighter. Okay, now I'm going to go in a bit heavier. Okay, take a little bit of the ink off and I'm just going to accent a few little pieces just for shading. Okay, so I'm just stroking that through the middle there. Can you see those? Oh yes, it's come through nicely on the camera, isn't it? Um, just from the centre where the flowers are coming out for, the shading, I just want that to have a little bit more accent. 
and I'm not going to put any more on I'm just going to come straight down kind of like down the veins a little bit on that one just blend it out a little bit so there's no harsh lines sorry the camera might mean that my hand is in your way but these are very easy to use they're like a thimble for the ladies um, so just have a thimble on the end of your finger and there you can control them well um, I do like the softness of the blends, the blending brushes, but I do love this as well. So these are the leaves. So I leave that, lift that up. Look at those beautiful colours. Gorgeous. So again, we we're going to repeat the process. We're going to take this one off, let that away, and grab the next one. So the next one is number three. So we're going to put that in the nick at the top there. Okay, we're lining it up on our card. Now this is going to be for the centres of those flowers. Um, you don't really have to worry about that now because you can see where the flowers are on here. Okay, and I'm going to put the tape down this side again. Okay, use this because we're not we're not putting ink on it, so I'm not getting ink on my fingers. And we're going to do the same with the centres. We're going to get some of this ink off. Okay, and we're going to make these quite pale. And then we go when we go over with the detail, we're going to um, go darker again. Okay, so I'm just putting some nice soft colour on there. Just think how many combinations this would work with. Okay, so that's a really quick one. That's number three. Okay, and I'm going to take this tape off again. Get rid of number three and bring on the last one, which is number four. Catch that. Oh. Could you try again? Siri, go to bed. I take a little nap any time you say. <laughs> Oh dear, do you hear that? I don't know why Siri's talking to me. I shouldn't have said his name, should I? Okay, that's taped down. So we'll switch that off if we can. There we go. So I've now got this lined up in the middle and we'll just have a little bit of detail and we're going to make this a lot stronger. So like we did the leaves and give it just a little bit of the, the darkness off there. And we're just going to bring this in just to accent where we need it. <laughs> I'm not going to say the word again, Ange Angela, but yes, don't you just. So I'm taking off the excess. I don't want it really suddenly dark, but I am going to work this in on the mask here. And it maybe took off a little bit too much. Okay, so this is just for the detail bit. So this is the dotty bits around the middle of the flower. Like I say, don't think necessarily think of this as just being sunflowers. Think of it as... Um, dahlias think of it as daisies think of it as poinsettias okay which is another one up my sleeve to try um, so there we go with the detail the added details so we've got the light and the dark coming through on each three of those just bear with me a moment this one isn't noisy boys this one is tigs he seems to want to come in today i think um daddy's probably gone to bed already so he's going to go up the stairs behind me in a short while there he is so that's that one finished so i'll take the hinge off so i can get to everything okay so we've used all four masks this piece of tape i'm going to put on my laminate sheet um so that i can use that again the pencil mark if you want it if you needed to you could use that again you could um Rub, rub that out, sorry. Um, the tape here I'm, I can use again. I've laminated this. Any piece of plastic or a mat, if you've got a, a glass mat, some people have glass mats, or a just a board like this, the black one underneath, that would probably work well. Oh, Gillian, thank you. I loved it. I really wanted it straight away, and I thought I can't use them all at the same time, so I needed to spread my spending out just a little bit. So I love that. And it's just, and from a distance, are you, this, the shading in there, there was no effort in there whatsoever. It's just playing. And if you practice on copy paper, printer paper, and just play with it, enjoy it. These leaves, I'd be inclined to say, right, I want to work at these now and bring them a little bit closer. Um, put more leaves in. I could have like two leaves in here, two leaves in there. Just do one, angle it, move it, uh, and play with it, really. So there's lots of scope for this. Um, but I just wanted to show you tonight because it was new products in my house. Okay, so now we're going to go to, um, I'll go back to the clean board now. Take that one away. Put the pa 
colored my grid paper back up. There we go. And we can say, I'll bring you out a little bit because you won't see me cutting and doing. Okay. So um, I'm going to just cut a, a base card in the different colors. I put them down here, didn't I? I've got one in that one. You know how I eyeball my colours. We've got one in that one. We probably haven't won that one because I don't haven't used this one so much. It's copper. Oh, that's copper, not pecan. Wrong one. I did have pecan. Right? It's on the bottom of here. No, that's yeah, pecan. So they were the three inks that we used. So yeah, I haven't got one in that one. It's more of a brownie tone than a coppery tone. So if I just cut this down at half, retrieve my scoring tool off the floor. It just fell out. You can see me, can't you? I'm not quite, quite far enough, am I? Let's bring you out some more. That's better. Um, and score this one in half, just so that we can work out what colours we like best. And I like you seeing my thinking process because then that helps you understand you're mixing your colours and seeing different viewpoints. Okay, so we will be cutting this down to a panel, but it'll be a case of which colour do we want to put this with on the bottom. I think this one on its own would be too dark and too light, but then if you put this in between it, that might be a nice combination. To have those three um, but it might be nice to have the that one and that one or it might be nice to have that one and that one okay there's different combinations here so I think what I'm going to do first I'm going to cut this panel down because we're going to need to cut that we want it only to be a slight little gap around the side so I'm going to do my usual I'm going to say we had over the corner here we have 14.85 times 10.5 so instead of half a centimeter I'm going to come down the point threes so I'm going to make this 14.5 click that on a little bit it's getting low 14.5 and three off that so that'd be 10.2 so that's my base you normally draw a line under there and then I put the other layers underneath then we'll come down to the this could be 9.9 .9 and 14.2 so we do three mils and three mils okay from each one last two as very last two is very autumnal now you'll have to tell me which combination they were was it that one or was it that one with that which was the last one angela You're going to have to tell me. I'll put them like that and tell me which way around they were because I can't rewind until I finish. <laughs> so just to get this in the middle of where I want it to be, I want this to be kind of like 10.2 10 wide. Those, those three. Okay, so 10.2 in here. I want to take a little bit off that side and a little bit off that side. So I'm going to start by 10.2 is going to be here. So if I come there and say, right, I'm going to start with taking 2.7 off this side and then I can work backwards. OK, you know me, I do eyeball. Sorry, little leaf. Um, and then this way, we're going to go to 10.2. So I've turned it around so I get the width that I want. We've just taken off the outside leaves, not a lot at all. Um, and then this way, I'm going to take... Um, take a little bit off here and I'm going to go to 14.2 so 14.2 would be there okay so that's our panel left now you don't have to this is just me with my first christening of these masks you don't have to do all of those flowers in the same place you can literally just work with this one move it and work with this one again how nice would it be to have them overlapping um, and i'm going to fussy cut some you can fussy cut the layers we can work with it um, and i've got 
a whole head full of information that I'm thinking of for doing for um, for classes. So um, we will get there and we will have some nice results. So the, oh, this one wanted to be 9.9, .9, didn't it? Who wanted this one? 14.2, 9.9. So let me just take a little bit more off this side. So 9.9. .9. I covered up my, my measurements, didn't I? So this one then comes down like two notches should be. Okay, so that's to that one. Is that full card size? We could get another layer in there, you know. It's gonna be very, very minimal. I can't get three layers in, Angela. We're only gonna have the two layers, like so. They're kind of autumnal. The two darker ones. There we go. Well done. Thanks, Marilyn. Pecan and orange. There we go. So this one will now go to the middle sizes. I know I've cut it as a card base, but I often do this, and I'll end up with two panels now. So 14.5. We're going down by three mils. That's making it like one and a half mils on either side. So it does work. 10.2. Kind of a nice close for very narrow layers that's all i'm taking off like let's see how this works so we've got pecan and we've got calypso coral and then we've got this one in the middle okay so that's how it will look bring it up to the camera for you so you've just got a hint of those and it brings through those colours. I think that that's beautiful. Glad you agree there, my dear. So I've got one last piece on here. I've, I know that, I don't know if it's in the catalogue, but somewhere I've seen different um, surfaces. I've done this before where you emboss a layer to give it texture. I got this one out, but I think the bricks are going to be too heavy. I was going to be use bricks um, uh, this afternoon, but I didn't in the end. So that was out. I love Time Worn Type. Okay, this will give this, in the background here, you can look at this near the camera and you can see that it looks it beautiful, but the background all looks very, very plain. Okay, you can do this after you've inked up, you can emboss. Okay, so here comes Mr. Chunky Monkey. Take off the cutting plates and the die one. I think the cat's gone in and out and he doesn't even speak, does he? He's not a social bunny like Smudge. Smudge obviously knows that um, Shaz isn't on here. So she's in hiding. So I've got the sandwich in here. I've got my embossing um, mat on here. Run that through. And remember, if you want it to face one particular way, if there's a right and a wrong, any directional um, writing or text, etc., you need to take that into account. Normally, the top here I count as the, 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 the fold is the top and the fold goes in first. Okay, so now take a look at that again with the texture on it. It's lightened that already. Oh, no, Smudge didn't come in, Shaz. No, it's Smudge, uh, Tiggs. He was, I knew him by the hammering on the door instead of the little cute little mew. Um, he was hammering at the door to come in and he's run upstairs, run downstairs and gone again. Okay, but the texture on here, can you see that? How that's taken that plainness off. I love this one. We've had this one a little while. We've got, there's another one that we've got um, that's similar. The brick, exposed brick. Um, and um, that's really nice as well. But this is so dainty. I thought that that one would be better. So what I'm, I'm not finished yet on this. I'm just going to take the sponge dauber. Um, I think I'm going to go with the palest one the petal pink I want to put some shading on here so this is where the daubers are better than the um, the brushes let me just bring you back in close up again so you can see a little bit closer there we go put that that side because I'm right-handed so where these raised pieces are on here I want to just glance this over the top so if I, there's not dark coming off there, it's a quite pale colour. So all I want to do is go around the edges and I want to take some of that text just to do some random little smooching over here. And that'll take some of the brightness off. Um, cream isn't as, as, as bright and stark as white is. 
and, I, and I'd already worked out that was going to go better with these colours. But it's just highlighting some of that text to say, hey, look, I'm here. Take notice of me. I've got some texture rather than just being all in one. OK, you can't really see it much, but I've just put some. It's a bit heavy at the top there, but I want to go around the edges in a minute anyway. I'm just bringing some colours through. Um, it's so faint you can hardly see it through sort of like across the bottoms here but now if you want to you can actually go through these bottom edges the, the, uh, the outside edges and just accent that just de-stress it a little bit so accent those a little bit more soften the edge it's all the way around the outside these are firmer than the brushes are so you can like something like this it works I think it works better but it's all personal choice I wanted to show you that you could do both so it helped not having all the colors in the blends I tend to only have like a brownie color a, an orangey color a pinky color etc rather than having one for each I don't expect anybody could afford to have one of each color that's just crazy so let's bring these back again. I would gut this, but I haven't got anything with me at the moment. So I will be extravagant and a whole sheet of, um, a whole sheet of um, card layer. Okay, there we go. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Just hold hard on that. My, um, my baker's twines out here um, I've got some linen thread in here and I've got the heavier ones but I think the linens linen is my lin, linen thread is my neutral go-to so I'm going to take this and just have a piece going through the back there Cut off. enjoy myself so much I haven't even looked at the time look that clock is still wrong, by the way. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this. Oh, you know what I can do? I'm going to pop this down because the glue's on there. I'm going to pop this down on here, then wrap it on the next layer. Okay. There we go. That'll be absolutely fine. Now that on its own still looks beautiful, doesn't it? Just if that was just a um, on that card, that cell. So do we want to go down this way or do we want to go across, across the bottom? I'm going to make a little sentiment I was going to put through the middle here. So I'm kind of thinking it might look nice down there. Should we say, should we go for that? Around there and maybe tie the bow at the top there, like so. Yes, I think I'll do that. So I like to tape this. Get my tear and tape out. So I, I've got the sizing right, I think. So if I tear two pieces of this off, oh, come on, one there and one there. So I'm happy that that's going around the other side. That's going to be enough the other side to, um, to tie. So I'm going to tape that one down there in that corner. Okay, and then I'll take this one, keep it nice and straight. Again, use your grid board and tape that one there. Okay, when we come to put the layers on, I will pull that off. So it's going to give more um, adhesive on the other side. So I'm going to tie this with a little bow. I want this up to be fairly near the top. It's quite springy, this one. This is linen thread. Okay, now I'm going to take the left over the right and do it as a reef knot. Proper knot. Bring that through there. You can't see because all the threads keep coming back. It's because it's on a spool. I used to like them when they were on a card because at least you've got long length. This is all around the corner. So I've tied a little knot there. Now they're going to behave themselves, okay? So we've got that nice. And we tie our bunny ear there and our bunny ear there. I'm going to wrap it round, sorry, and do another bunny ear. It's not, not bunny ears tonight because it's not a freehand bow. We can smooch that in, make those tails as we like them. I might leave those hanging down a bit long at the moment, but we'll see when we get this mounted. So I'm going to take the tape off. It just gives it that extra little bit of adhesive. 
and go in the bin, tombow around the edges, and down the middle. Texture does make a big difference, doesn't it? Make sure I'm hinged at the top here. Yeah. Keep the tails out of the way. You don't want to stick them in. And up the top there like so. There we go. I'm going to smudge the ink. But these tails are quite long. I like them fairly long, but I'll just take a little bit off that one to match up with there, I think. So there's the actual card itself. I and mean, you can curl those round like scissors or um, a, a curler, um, a doodah. Um, <laughs> bone folder. So you can kind of like try and straighten them out or curl them. Curl this one inwards if you can. I'm going to come that way. Sometimes it'll straighten them a little bit more. But I'm now going to do a little greeting for you. I've got the machine here to die cut. And I've, the set I've got out for tonight for a greeting is one of my favourites. Charming Sentiments. Um, it's a good all round. Um, oh. I see I'm a, I'm a sucker for this one. I just think it's as long as it's not going to be too big. Let's move you over. So that is quite big actually on there. That's It's going to cover up too much of our loveliness. So, um, ooh, I always have this dilemma, don't I? I want a smallest one. We could do the wishing you happies of birthdays because it's quite long and thin. See how that's going to look on there. It's still covering up quite a bit, isn't it? Let's just go with a good old thank you, shall we? Always do with thank you cards. Always. That one. Okay. I'm doing so well. It does not do me very good at all to clear my desk, does it? It really doesn't. Say, Sandra, never clear your desk again. Let's get the blocks. So Norfolk Open Studios, I have the door open and I can expect anybody just to come in really um, at any time. So it's quite, um, quite um sort of like basically i have to be stuck here so it's good because being stuck in my craft room that's a real hardship isn't it i'm just looking for a piece of vanilla that is a bit smaller than that there we go. perfect size get more than one out of there so because of the colors i've done it's going to be one of these i do think that the darker one is going to look good because this is a little bit lighter this is going to come through nicely for us going to highlight that and stamp that one and hey while you're stamping um, another good tip oh you're off camera there we go is I tend to if I know I've got enough card size on in here the dies are going to go right around the outside I'm actually going to get three on here so I can repeat this twice more okay I won't cut all three now but I will do as soon as I come off air so if we chop one of those off, the other two can stay with the with the stamp set. Shut the dies without the die. No, that's not that one. It's that one. The trouble with having sentiments for all of those greetings is the fact that they're just shapes. And you've got to, it's a bit like a jigsaw. You have to marry up the shape of the greeting with the shape of the die. Bring those ones back. A little hardship, but it needs to be done. Absolutely. So it's a solid two weeks. Um, and I really don't mind. I've got a list as long as I don't know what. I thought I could do this. If I haven't got customers in and no walk-ins, I could do this, I could do that, I could do the other. I think I've been a wee bit optimistic as to how many things I can do in the time given. Because even if nobody came in for the fortnight, I don't think I'd get everything done. <laughs> Beauty is I have cleaned out some drawers. 
I was tidying up my ribbon drawer for Wednesday night um, live and I made after Wednesday I did another couple of my um, boxes for my ribbons and um, tidied those a bit further filtered a few more in but it meant I had to because I like the color of the rainbow order it meant that I had to um, spread them out a little bit so I had to make some gaps so that was good okay okay so this one's going to go on here um, I'm not going to get up again but I will um, I'll put dimensionals on here later but I think that's going to sit on there just in the middle No, I have gems, but I don't have dimensionals. I need a checklist, don't I? It's because I'm winging. I'm winging it. So we have dimensionals. Probably a couple of the big ones on there might do. Tweezers. Oh, bless you, Claire. You're more than welcome. I have very much an open house policy. I tell this to everybody. I'm going to put one big one and one small one on here. Or an edge. Let me just put an edge on there. So I don't waste... No, I don't need an edge. Let me get one of these bits. Um, very much an open door. If you're ever this way and you want to pop in, we do have... I do retreats here, which are going to be coming out. Um, and I have people tra travel for those as well. So... Um, it's nice to have people come and visit. And I have my first overseas American demo friend coming next May. We have, well, not quite a date, but we know roughly when. So that's going to be really lovely to actually welcome somebody over here from abroad. I'm not one for putting things in the middle. Okay, so I kind of want to put this there or down here. It's a little bit of a cream. That's kind of off centre, but not really anywhere. I think I prefer it there. My eye lends me to go there because it's it's you can see it more against the flowers. You can still see a piece of the leaf poking out, so I think that looks good. So some gems. We need some bling. Mustn't lose that die. Let's see what we can find in the box. So clear is not going to work. I think that that I think they're too big but these brassy ones here might work we have these ones actually these are the classic matte dots and they're in vanilla they're not blingy but I think that they will look quite nice so just going to put some random cream we have used these on another project I forget which one it was but we've done some of these just randomly just to give it some texture so let's pop one there, one in there, and one over here somewhere. There's a piece of blank there. There we go, just three little cream matte dots. And there we go. That's lovely. Okay, I'm really pleased with that, and I hope you love it as well. I now want to go and repeat this in lots of different colours. So tomorrow I have got, um, if Linda's watching this on replay, Linda will be over tomorrow. Um, I know she's popping in. Um, I do have customers that just drop in as well when they know I'm open like this. So I will leave everything out um, for this project and I will make up some different colours. So look out to seeing some new colours coming out on in the, just in the um, Facebook feed okay you'll see those coming through so we can have a ball and we'll pick out some different colors oh marilyn that's good from you again you don't like flowers do you my dear <laughs> he's getting a standing joke now it is beautiful i do love it i am kind of biased um, and i can see so many different colors so you can flood me now send me pictures of your oh, angela's coming in tomorrow as well pick out the colors you'd like to use angela okay um but you can come out with, I was going to say, the different colour combinations and also the different flowers. If you're, um, I'll just bring it back to me, I'll take that off. Um, if you're out and about and you see some of your flowers in your garden, 
um, and you think actually that would work those colors will work um, then just send me po- take a nice photo and send me a picture just send me a personal message or a text or whatsapp just send it over to me and say hey sandra these colors would work and then i will just jump into any combinations that i think we can make up so it would look really nice but then if you want if you're local and you want to do the class even if you can't make it down here i will do this online as well i will be doing it by post okay it's not in these colors i've not decided 100 percent color what colors i'm using i've made a list and i'm trying to price it up at the moment um and it will have full color instructions with it so you can do it at home um and i will do some on a youtube so it will be coming up but i'm leaving it to november when people are kind of mostly over christmas and looking a little bit still in autumn but looking ahead okay so some nice bright spring cl- um, colors maybe okay so that's me for today um and where are we this is sunday so yeah so wednesday night um i will be here i'm not going over anywhere out that i know of in the next uh, two weeks um i will see some of you at the thetford show don't forget that that's going to be the 8th of october so the sincerely yours show in thetford um and on the saturday before it's world card making day you can all sign up to joining in with the stampin up event it's totally free i will post the link on that tomorrow um i'm going to try and have an earlier night tonight because i've had several late nights um but yeah by all means um if you want more details on that um if you're local and you can come here then come here i have buffet tables and we can fill this room and we can overflow next door into the the, the snug um we can't use the dining room but we can put another buffet table up in here okay we have enough chairs so let's have a really good world card making day link up with stamping up over the television so everyone can see um and and make some beautiful cards okay so that's all for me for tonight uh it's coming up to nine o'clock look um and i will say cheerio and i will see you on wednesday or see you in person over the next fortnight if you're local and you're going to pop